Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of The Talking Shrimp. Um, like I commented on the earlier video, uh, this is the second video I've made that had, has nothing to do with food. Um, I wanted to show you different uh, preparation steps I take before I uh, make a meal, uh, especially the ones I make for you. Um, the first video was about the gloves that I wore uh, when you go grocery shopping. This video will be about not the hand sanitizer I use, but the, how it's dispensed. So this is something I got off of Amazon. It's by Secura. It's a 17 ounce dispenser. Um, now you'll notice it says soap dispenser, not hand sanitizer. And what you'll, you'll notice if you go shopping yourself is it's really difficult to find a hand sanitizer dispenser that has a lot of reviews. Um, I, I couldn't find any that had more than maybe 12 reviews, positive reviews. So I found this, which has about 5,000, 6,000 positive reviews. Um, and I read some comments that some users had placed that indicated uh, hand sanitizer was, was okay. So this, is, this one's quite expensive. It's about $35. And um, here, that's a better thumbnail. It's about $35, and um, uh, leave me a comment below and check back in a month to, to see if this thing is still working. Um, because uh, sometimes the viscosity of, of hand, sanit hand sanitizer is different from, say, soap, and that's what breaks down the machine. This one is battery operated, takes uh, four double A's, and um, uh, there's a nice little light that comes on when you use it too, and uh, you just pass your hands underneath it like this. And uh, there you go. So um, it's wall mountable, but uh, it looks kind of weird when you do that. Um, but that's up to you. Uh, we just sit, let we just sit this on the table, and, and it's been working so far. But again, I've only had it for a couple of days. Check back with me in a month. Ask me if it's still working. But uh, it is for now, and um, it's a great way, uh, especially when you're cooking. Right, you have a lot of things going on. You have a lot of tools you're touching. Uh, it's a great way to clean your hands and uh, get back to what you're doing without having to, you know, pick up a tube of anything or a jar of anything. Oh, one thing I should mention is um, a lot of those uh, automatic hand dispensers, especially the Purell ones, um, they take these proprietary bottles. That, so you have to get their bottles, right? And, they, and you insert them upside down. And then when the bottle's done, you have to get another one of their bottles. And what I've been reading is that a lot of users have tried to puncture a hole in that bottle just to refill it and they've been quite unsuccessful it, it ruins um, the dispensing so I, I thought that to be a little predatory I guess um, you should be able to find a dispenser and just fill it w up with whatever it is that you want so I hope this helps leave me a comment below uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so I'll see you in the next video